Yeah, good morning, Tom. What a lovely sunny day it is here in East Anglia. It is lovely. Yeah. And morning to Alex in the back there. Welcome along, mate. Your full crew in the car today. Inform Pompey made the trip to Portman Road today. Two of the Inform teams battling it out for those playoff spaces. Season-defining stuff this weekend. Pompey fan, Ipswich fan, Fanny. Fanny. <laughs> Fanny. Fanny. Pompey fan, Ipswich fan, fan of any other football team, make sure you subscribe down below. We've got a really interesting and exciting run in. Well, we'll know by the end of this week, we said, whether it's going to be an exciting run in or not. So make sure we you subscribe not, yeah. down below. Drop the video a like as well. Let us know your thoughts. We read every single comment. I said it in the week, but we do and we really appreciate. So, support's been unbelievable in the last month or so, isn't it? Pompey bang in form, Andrew. Impressive record. 19 points from a possible 21. Only dropped two points in that time. Ipswich, five wins from eight. You would have thought that the form's going to end for one of these teams today. Yes, Tom. We've had four relatively easier games haven't we so this is a test for us today this one and Tuesday away at Plymouth we win those two we're still in, a, in, 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 for, in for a shout for the playoffs aren't we? they had a bit of an underwhelming sort of couple of transfer windows obviously brought in some top talent we all know in the car what Connor Chaplin could do to us this afternoon question for you Alex mate who's the best striker in League One and why is it George Hurst <laughs> you're not giving me many options there mate <laughs> but I'd have to agree with you George Hurst he's firing us to, to the top at the moment isn't he he's he is. uh, got a bit of confidence about him and I think that's that's what he was missing we've got a lot of respect for Ipswich and one of up there with the fan bases like ourselves in League One 25 odd thousand sell out away in the 2000 Pompey fans today real good advert for League One and we're looking forward to bringing it to you sit back relax we're in rock and roll baby come on <laughs> Can I get your mum in as well? With me? Yeah. Mum. Hello. <laughs> We're back again. How are you? I'm good, mate. I'm good. Nervous. You're looking forward? Sorry, a bit late. You're yeah, looking forward to it? Uh, I'm so excited. I'm nervous. Oh, good fish. Hey. <laughs> cool prediction. I've said three to it, Switch. Yeah. I'm staying optimistic, but I have a slight feeling it could be a draw today. Ten clean sheets out of 15 with McKenna. He's doing all yeah, right, isn't mate. he? If it's not this season, next season we're going up. Awesome. Chris, mum's here. How are you? Hello, I'm very well. How are you? I'm very good. We're a long old journey, but we're here. Uh, you look excited. Good to see you. And yeah. you. I'd like to say 4 0 written all over it, but I'm going to say 4 2 whip switch. And when we lose, there's a little gift for you. Happy oh, Easter. Oh, look at that. That's weird, Tight. I mean, you've been like us up and down. Yeah, and score uh, prediction. Yeah, you, are, you, you boys are scoring goals for fun. We are. Oh, and you're yeah, defending yeah. goals for fun, though, aren't you? Very, yeah, very yeah, tight yeah, at the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah so uh, that's probably. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be a tight one, probably a 1-0 or 2 at the town time. Unbelievable. Yeah. My heart says 4-0, yeah. but my head says 3-2 Pompey. Lovely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's What's going to be tight. 3-2. Curtis is going to be on fire. Yeah. O'Brien's going to be on fire. And Danny's at the wheel. Medzidi, Medzidi, Medzidi. Medzidi, he's on. ready. You ready? Buzzing, yeah, we're very, very much buzzing. ready. We've only just arrived half an hour ago, but yep. we're buzzing. We're buzzing. And which thing score's going to be? 4-0. Lovely. 4-0. Rowdy, what are we saying? 4-0, of course. 4-0. And remind me of your name, mate. Jordan. 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 What do you think the score's going to be, Jordan? 4-0, 4-0. 4-0. I said today 5-0. 5 5-0. 5 5, five, five, no. five. five. See, they're a pretty good side. A lot yeah. of respect for this Ipswich team. I'll give them respect, but we scored 15 goals in five games. Yep. I haven't come 2,000 miles for a 0-0. Yes, yeah, neither have we. I want goals. You've been a legend already today, but it's well, you've been oh, mate. We? It's been unbelievable. But we're here. We're, we're here, here at, the, at the famous Portman Road. We're here. We're very excited. Are you looking forward to it? Yeah, buzzing, mate. Buzzing. They've got the debut of this He's got it. There it is. 4-0 over here we've got to do them like they did us but in my actual head i'm going 3-1 pompey first to get a goal o'brien to get a goal and yeah we just need to turn up today and i yeah. think we will boys what do you think he scores for me today uh 2-1 ipswich yeah and he's gonna score but uh no selena and jackson uh, have we got to look out for those two on the pitch uh yeah 100%, yeah, yeah. I and mean, who do you think is gonna score burns, mate well, yeah, where's burns sure. burns jackson yeah i'll go to 4-0 written yeah, all over it <laughs> Let's call this one today. 4-0 written all over so it. So excited. Let's yeah. bring it on. Excited about today. Yeah. Everyone's buzzing, aren't they? A lot of noise in here, yeah. In the pub earlier as well, everyone's kind of expecting yeah. so, something's brewing. So What is that something, Sam? What do we reckon? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Any words? 4-0 written all over it. That's it, mate. 2-1 so Bobby. I wouldn't be surprised if a set piece, maybe. Rag it again, yeah. potentially. Uh, but yeah, George Hurst coming in. Great form as well. Uh, and they've got... It's but, so noisy in here. Yeah, but <laughs> they've got a centre half who hasn't played in a while starting, so him up against George Hurst, can see something there. But yeah, 2 1 Bobby win. If we win, we can start dreaming.
Arto at Portman Road. Exhausting watch, to be honest. I thought it would more than match them. Uh, Danny will probably say after the game we had a difficult way in, which I think would be fair enough to say. They had a chance to score, we had a chance to score. Probably should be 1 1, so 0 0 at half time, not yeah. far from it. No, yeah, totally agree. I think it probably could easily be 1 all. You know, this is a game where our adrenaline's been shot, hasn't it? It's, it feels. We've been it so. Feels, yeah. It feels like an important game. Yeah. You don't want to concede first because you know that it can get cagey. Yeah. One team can sit behind the ball and you know it might be that 1 0. Yeah. At this rate, equally could come out in the second half, early goal for either team, and it could spark it a little bit. It's what we expected, wasn't yeah. it? Two good sides. I think all in all, it's not been a terrible way performance. I'll go and eat my words in a minute, but it doesn't, for me, look like there's an awful lot in the way of sort of a counter attack from Ipswich. For me, it's very much, and you can see why they're keeping so many clean sheets in it, because defensively they are a pack. They have got a lot of bodies in a lot in a, a real like block-like formation that's really yeah. stopping Pompey from penetrating. Percy's had a couple of opportunities. You just mentioned the O'Brien one. We don't look brilliant defensively. I think it's been a couple of you know, moments where it's gone out for a corner when it could have been a throw in but equally they've had the same as us There is a very special relationship between the management of this football club and the supporters of this football club. Um, I think that was amplified for us today. Point gained at Portman Road will be the title of this video and um, I think that probably sums it up, doesn't it? Yeah, it sums it up really well. You know, first 45, as you'll see, you know, we came on and said we'd done all right, had a few chances. Second half, not going to lie, we didn't do anything. No, um, nothing. I wouldn't say it was a terrible performance. I just don't think that we were, we just didn't want to lose. Yeah. And um, we didn't lose today. So I think the, the guys will think it's a point gained. Yeah. Um, I think they'll be quite right. Thought we played pretty poorly. There was no excitement, no, no passing, no movement, no space to play into. Went there for a nil-nil draw, it looked like to me. Yeah, which is frustrating actually, because you never really want to see your team set up like that, do you? But I suppose when you when you get to 75 minutes, the word is game management, isn't it? And we've always said it when oppositions do it, but I did see quite a lot of time wasting from the boys and part and parcel of a modern game, which is not something that we like, but it happens, doesn't it? And it did happen. Yeah, and I think at this point, we, we should probably give great credit to Ipswich Town because definitely, and I'm, I'm trying to be as neutral as I possibly can on this video, so Pompey didn't the glasses as all Ways, but I thought they were much more likely to score a goal in the second half. Yeah. Um, they really came out the blocks much more than we did. First half was a much more even game. Second half, it, it was all them. And I wouldn't actually have been too surprised had they scored a goal. Well, yeah, so it'd be interesting to see how, how far off that, that set piece was. Yeah, but it wasn't far, mate. And there, there were a couple of heart in mouth moments, weren't there? Potentially, we showed them a bit too much respect. Perhaps. Um, but I think it was, as you said to me in the game, you know, conserving the energy. Yep. Uh, at times, you know, it's such went, a busy period, yeah, and we, we got a couple a of games bit of a, to catch up. A five minute spurt looked a bit likely to go forward, but then that came with a five, ten minute spurt trying to get our breath back, you know? Yeah. So it almost counterintuitively, if we don't score in that spurt, we concede in the next five. And I was, I was speaking to a, a guy on the way out of the ground, and, and I think it sort of summarises it nicely. Tuesday makes makes it a must win, and then if you can go and get four six uh, four from six between the games of Ipswich and Plymouth, then may, maybe you terrible, maybe you it? still give yourselves a, a chance. It's done now. We haven't lost. It's still eight unbeaten now. Still a lot of points to play for as well. We get yeah. four from Plymouth and Wickham, we can still dream. First time in our six games, Tom, I thought it was quite boring, really. We, we set up better than that normally. We played some better football. The last two away games have been excellent. Good results. We didn't look like scoring from the kickoff, did we? We looked like defending from the kickoff. We went there. It looked like to me we went there for a nil-nil draw, mate. And I think that's, that is testament to Ipswich Town's defensive capabilities, Andrew, because as was said at half-time, and I say it again, they were very tight blocks of defence and they would ne they're would they not a team that catch on the counter-attack because they defend when they need to defend and they attack when they need to attack. Leaves Pompey in a little bit of limbo which I think means is the reason why we didn't quite get the foothold that we wanted in the game and perhaps is the reason why you know we, we didn't play the way that we have done in, in pre previous games. We've had a good run haven't we and I think that is our saving grace is that we, we've had so much football has been played and we, there's a lot of fatigue and it was very yeah. very obvious that we were Evident, shattered yeah. at points they looked at it didn't they all yeah. the time they looked fresh they looked sharp and, and, and that's where where we give credit to Ipswich Town thanks for having us um, thank you for the point gain in our point of view probably would have wanted the three points if you're an Ipswich Town fan let us know in the comment section down below now that's where we're going to leave you we're going to make the trip the four hour trip down to the south coast and then we'll make an even longer trip down to the even further south coast almost well we will be on the Cornish border on Tuesday look forward to bringing you that one here on Fauna written all over it hello looking forward to bringing you that one here on Fauna written all over it go on finish me sorry 
great. We, oh my Finish word. Me. Finish it. As always, Slava Ukraini. And give us a badge. Play up Pompey. Go south.